Hey, what's up, guys? I'm Ding from Ding's Workshop. When it comes to jointing two pieces of wood together, there are many ways to do it. One of the most popular way is by using a loose tenon, and such joint can be easily done using the fest tool domino. But the hefty price tag makes the fest tool domino a tool that is not affordable by everyone. I don't own a fest tool domino. Yet. Today, I want to show you guys this very interesting jig that converts your palm router into a loose tenon jig similar to the Festool Domino. This is the handheld loose tenon jig by Tianli. Now this tool is brand new to the market, so new that it is only sold on eBay in limited quantities. The maker of this jig messaged me on Instagram and presented me this tool. I thought this tool is cleverly designed and has great potential to bring value to woodworker hobbyists like myself. So I agreed to do a review and showcase this jig to the world. And I just want to let you guys know that aside from receiving this jig for free, I do not make any commission or compensation from the eBay sales. Taking a closer look at the tool, it almost looks like a fancy gauntlet. You can adjust the height of the tool using this knob here. And it is very solid built. There's no play at all. I'm very impressed. And as you can see, the pistons have scales on them. On one of the pistons, it has centimeters, and on the other piston, it has inches. These scales are perfectly aligned to the cutter head. So therefore, you can use these scales to adjust the height of your loose tenon. Very well thought detail. And there is a marking at the center of the jig, so you can use this to align the markings on your material. Behind the front handlebar, there are left and right adjustment knobs. Now you only need to turn one knob for both of these blocks to move. One centimeter to the right, one centimeter to the left. And on the back of the tool, there is yet another small knob. Right now the knob is loose, so I can move freely from left to right. But right now if I tighten it, the tool is no longer movable from left to right. The tool is only able to move forward and back. This is particularly helpful if you are trying to make a dowel hole. And last but not least, the tool is spring-loaded so that when I release it from the front, it will just go back automatically. A very well thought feature. Now as you can see, this tool does not have angle adjustments, so for making loose tenons on bevels, you will have to build some sort of a jig to support this tool at the angle you want. Also, this tool does not have any dust collection capabilities, so it is a bit messy to use. The Fest Tool Domino does have angle adjustments and dust collections and other bells and whistles, but hey, it is $800 more expensive than this jig. Now currently, this jig is only compatible with 65mm router spindles. Bigger routers such as the DeWalt DCW600 will not fit this jig. But the good news is, Tianli is working on design updates to make this jig compatible with more varieties. So there are something to look forward to. And this knob and block over here sets the depth of your mortise. Now that I have the router mounted, you hold it against a piece of wood, and then the tool moves left and right, in and out.
So as you can see, this jig is very capable in making mortises for loose tendon joints. This jig currently retails for 199 Canadian dollars, which is equivalent to about 160 US dollars. So what do you guys think? Do you think this is a good alternative for the fast soap domino? Or would you rather save up $1,000 for the Festo Domino? Let me know what you think in the comments. I'm Ding from Ding's Workshop. See you next time.